This is Cypher 9 to Watcher 2. Please respond. Contact authorization denied. This is Imperial Automated Defense Corps Unit CR-97. By order of Darth Jared, Lord of the Dark Council, your ship is now in lockdown. Cypher 9. The last time we spoke, I called you to Korriban. Did you misunderstand what a privilege that audience was? If I recall, you tried to have me murdered as some sort of test. Many would beg for the opportunity to serve one of the Dark Council. You've not impressed me, Cypher. You've given me no new information since your mission began, about the murder of Darth Jadis or otherwise. When you receive my orders, you'll do as you're told, or I'll have you flayed alive, along with everyone you know. Understood? I assure you, my lord, I've reported all my findings to intelligence. Very well. Perhaps it's not you I should blame. Now, my peers on the Dark Council acknowledge me, but they don't yet respect me, not like they did my father. To secure my position, I must have my father's secrets. The mysteries Darth Jada's never deigned to teach me. I think you're in over your head. How dare you? You're not Sith. You're certainly not my father. I was his only apprentice. But he favored force-blind advisors over his own daughter. Of course, most of his advisors died with him on the Dominator. But not all. Fjord Yanol stayed behind. Fjord Yanol fled to Nar Shaddaa. Was he afraid of something? And why Nar Shaddaa? I expect that when Jade has died, Yanol knew no one could keep him safe anymore. In a game? Maybe Yanol conspired with Jadis' rivals. Maybe he was involved in my father's death. The end result is the same. My sources have found his hideout. You will catch him and bring him to me. Until then, we are finished. I've done nothing to you. I've touched nothing on this dust ball. No talk to no one. I'm not here to hurt you. The Dark Council hired you, didn't it? Or the Galactic Republic, the Macrosa Order, the Huts. Uh, it doesn't matter. My master is dead. Darth Jadis is gone. I have no one left to betray. I'm not asking you to betray anyone. Darth Jorid sent me. Jorid? Ah! The idiot girl thinks she can equal her father, eh? You really don't understand. Lord Jadis must have made preparations for his death. He was power, and fire, and brilliance. The instant the Master died, I promise his contingency plans went into action. They'll bring doom to everything Lord Jadis ever touched, and I want no part of it. Please. There are things you know, things no one else does. In another time, another place, I might have done you a favor. I would have owned you. 
but not anymore. I won't be caught in the Master's schemes ever again. Still alive, but he's not getting up soon. Now we have to drag him to the ship. He's just a terrified old man. Right. I'm sure he's a real sweetie. What with working for Jadis and all. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. I've met her twice now, but I don't know much about her. I can't tell you much, but she's not beloved by the other Dark Lords. There was resistance to giving her her father's council seat. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Kars. She awaits you there. Keep her out. Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? Yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Cypher 9, your superior and I were just chatting. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine, agent. I'll... Speak to me, not to him. He wouldn't be here if not for your lack of respect. You see, in our last conversation, you said something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you kill, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. What do you plan to do to him? I don't know. I'm starting to get bored. Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. Dangerous and unpredictable. Exactly. Be careful. So, Fjord Yanov, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? You have a body collection? I'm joking, Agent. Yanov and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. It'll give me something to look forward to. Think of it. Dream of me, and of your service to me. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantled the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terror Network went into overdrive. The more they move, the more visible they get. Our advantage. I'm not complaining. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. Certainly intimidating. But what does that actually tell us? Barely enough to add to his profile. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. <laughs>